Good morning YouTube and welcome to my channel once again. This is Tan here with you and in today's vlog I'm going to talk about rash menace and how you can avoid it. Now for you and me this might be a regular engine compartment but for these little devils this is a four bedroom apartment. Let me explain. This portion right here is two bedrooms for it. It resides here inside this nook and here also inside that and then these are the other two bedrooms bedroom number three and bedroom number four. So this right here is its private bathroom. It does all its uh, private things here. Usually this portion is filled with its poop and its urine. It's all washed away right now. I didn't want to spoil your mood by showing you all that. So it's all cleaned. Now for most of you this might be a new uh, encounter with these little devils. But I've been facing this problem for the last few years. So I have actually been on a war footing with these rodents. Let me show you what I mean. As you can see this weather strip here, it has chewed almost three-fourth of the weather strip, this uh, rubber bush. It goes all the way from here till here. It has even bit of this portion. As you can see, it's chewed off all these rubber bits. Now to replace this weather strip, it cost me around 900 rupees just for parts. So I can't get this uh, rubber bush alone. I'll have to replace the whole strip from there from the right to the left and then recently these rodents have chewed this uh, rubber hose so this rubber hose actually connects the water reservoir to the water spray nozzle for the windshield wipers and it actually cut somewhere around here anyway I replaced this this wasn't so expensive I replaced it for just 100 rupees now I put a different hose I'm not sure when it will chew this up also Apart from this, as you can see, there's this firewall insulation. It has actually uh, chewed also this portion over here. And then it has also nipped on the uh, suspension mounts. Then the rodents have uh, chewed even this portion behind. Well, you could actually call all these minor damages considering what other owners have faced at the hands of these rodents. So now let me show you what all I've used to attack these rats. So the first is this rat trap here. This is made with the help of my carpenter. Uh, there's a bait that is inside, that's placed inside here. When the rat eats that bait, this door closes and the rat uh, gets trapped inside. Uh, usually the rats that get trapped inside these are very huge. They are almost the size of an adult cat. It's actually pretty scary to see those rats. They are really humongous in size. The second trap that I have are these uh, metal traps. So here also it's the same uh, thing. There's a bait that's kept here. When the rat tries to eat that bait, what happens is that uh, metal spring releases and it uh, traps the rat. It is definitely a very horrific way to die. So rest in peace rats. And the third method is those uh, mortine cakes that you get which is a poison actually when the rats eat that they actually die within a few hours. Now there are flaws in all these uh, traps that is in the case of the mortine cakes what happens is if the rat eats that and then uh, gets to drink water anywhere it will survive. So that works only when there is no water anywhere nearby and the rat eats it and it suffocates and dies. The problem with these two traps is that you'll have to keep changing the bait daily because sometimes you need to use potatoes, sometimes radish, sometimes fruits like apples, oranges, dates. I use all sort of things daily because uh, it just doesn't eat if you put the same bait always. It needs something different. Unfortunately, rats are very choosy like humans. They need to taste something different each day like as we have in our own menu only then they fall for these traps else they don't so that's a major disadvantage with these traps I have around 20 of them laid around all my cars 
there are two disadvantages the rats die which is kind of sad because i don't want them to die but if you, if you don't trap them like this they actually ruin your engine so that's a trade off but i actually did find a solution finally that actually can save lives of rats and also save your car from getting damaged so let's see that right now So, ladies and gentlemen, here is my rat fencing system. So, this right here is actually galvanized steel sheet. Uh, it costs around 80 rupees per kilo. This has a width of uh, two and a half feet, and it's around 42 feet long. So, it weighs around 23 kilos. I paid around 1,900 rupees for it. It's actually a bit rough around the edges. So I used uh, a double layer masking tape on the top edges so that it doesn't scratch the paint of the vehicle. You could also use your car cover first and then on top of that use this uh, GA sheet so it doesn't damage your car's paint. Now the point of entry for these rats are those four wheels on the vehicle. If you manage to cut them off, it's impossible for the rats to enter. But my doubt right now is these rats are very clever. I'm not sure if they'll use these ropes here to climb inside the car because there are small gaps here. If they want to, I think they can probably climb even such a height. I'm not sure. Only time will tell. I'll anyway keep it for one week to two weeks and I'll see how it goes. Let's see if it prevents the rats from entering. However, the disadvantage in the system is that dismantling and assembling it is a bit tedious. You need two people to do this work. So for people like me who don't use the cars for weeks together or months together, uh, this system is probably much better and easier. But for those who take their cars every three or four days, this might be difficult. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and if you did, please do hit the like button. Do consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, this is Stan signing out. Bye-bye.